Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn how to create the simple and efficient dissolve effect that doesn't require any rendering. And the idea is we're going to start from two still images that were already rendered using Mantra and we're going to create the dissolve effect using Pops in Houdini. And my starting point for this effect is these two, uh, these two still images. Uh, I have this first look and then the gold version look. And the idea is to dissolve between them using uh, only pops in Houdini. And all of this was created without any extra rendering. This is, this is being captured from the Houdini viewport. And so we're going to learn how to do that. And uh, we're gonna start with the same scene that I used for the rendering. And I simply have the geo and uh, the camera and the, the, the bare geo, the grid and the camera. And I'm going to dive inside and we're going to first project these renders onto the geometry. And what projection is really is, it's basically creating a, a UV coordinate uh, that are based on the camera that we're going to use for the projection. There is nothing sp uh, special about projecting textures onto geometry. There is nothing specific that happens in the shader. It's just that there is a UV coordinate that is that is created based on the camera that we're going to specify. And then we use that UV coordinate to do lookups on the texture. So in Houdini, we're going to create a UV texture node and we're going to simply change this to perspective from, from camera and um, and then specify the camera that we need. Once that's done, if we look at the object, we have a UV attribute now, and I'm going to put down a UV quick shade to preview what we've created so far. And this uh, allow us to uh, preview the texture in the viewport. So you can see we have projection. And if instead of projecting uh, this map here, we use one of the renders uh, that we've made. You can see that we've projected back the renders because I'm using the exact same camera and now we have the full uh, render here. And um, the next step is to create points from 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 this geo. And I'm going to ignore that for a second. And now if we scatter any points, you can see that um, they will inherit all the attributes from the from the geo. And what we need to do is we need to change the UV coordinate from a vertex uh, type to point. And that way we will inherit, these points will also inherit the UV coordinate. I'm gonna turn off the relax because I don't, uh, to make it faster. And I'm gonna increase the number of points. Maybe increase it a little bit more to 1 million and turn off the max gap. So, here we have 1 million points and they all inherit, they are all sampling the UV coordinate from the mesh. And um, we need to, I'm going to use um, PubVob to sample the texture onto these points. And I'm going to put down a point VOP and dive inside. And I'm going to create a bind node. We're going to import the UV coordinate and set it to vector. And we need the X and Y coordinates. So I'm gonna put down a vector to float. Vector to float node and connect that. And then we need a color map node. And this node, we will be able to use a UV coordinate and uh, do a lookup into a, uh, a texture file. And I'm gonna connect that to the um, texture you can see now it's the default value is the mandrel picture and i'm gonna uh, promote that attribute and let's call this uh, uv lookup and we're going to specify the texture which is the still version the still render that we did you can see now we have um, uh, applied we have the texture of the render applied to the points. Now, if we look through the camera, you will see that we cannot tell whether it's points or um, uh, or geometry, or if it's, it's hard to tell what's, what it's made of, and it's almost as if there is only geometry here. 
So we're going to continue and the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to select the other image, which is this one. And now the idea is to transition between these two guys. And for that, we're going to create a mask that animates through the um, uh, along the geometry of the bear and use that mask information to blend between these two these two images. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to use that information to blend between these two um, versions. And with that, we will uh, create the first part of the dissolve effect, and then we will uh, add the the extra particle sim that will add the this effect here. Cool. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.